Well, police tracked down stolen jewelry from the robbery to a pawn shop in Rogers, which led them to the suspect. Police arrested this man, 20 year old Jonathan Marshall. The victim was his own grandmother. Police say he used a brick from the backyard to break into this home. And when police arrived at the scene, they found blood on the floor and 83 year old Dolly Cottrell in the kitchen. She had blood on her face, neck and hair from a large cut to her head. She told police she'd been beaten by a masked robber with a gun. And Jonathan Marshall later admitted to police that he used a fake CO2 handgun similar to an airsoft gun to hit her during the attack. Once medics arrived, she was transported to Mercy Hospital, where she's currently in a medically induced coma after having neck surgery. After examining the scene at the home, police then went to West Pecan Street, where they questioned her grandson. He told them he had no involvement in the crime and only found out she had been robbed from his mother. When police conducted a database search of local pawn shops for the stolen jewelry, they found that Marshall had pawned the jewelry at Cash for Gold in Rogers. When they visited the store, the employee that bought the jewelry said she wasn't surprised it was stolen and that the customer had said it belonged to his grandmother who had died. Police arrested Marshall on Friday afternoon on charges of aggravated residential burglary. Well, Marshall told police that he broke into the home because he owed money over drugs. While in custody, he also admitted to being responsible for two commercial robberies in the area, one at Hairlines, a hair salon on West Walnut, and the second at Shirley's Flowers on 13th Street. Katie Davidson, 40, 29 News. The affidavit lists that Dolly sustained a broken vertebrae, a fra fractured shoulder, fractured ribs and arm, a fractured pelvis, and bleeding around her brain from the incident.